All right, here's the deal. Today we're going to be talking about reversing aging, the aging process, cellular repentance, stepping into immortality, and this present moment, and what they all have to do with one another. On a very Cellular, conscious, and subconscious way you've been programmed. Those are the three levels. You got your conscious programming, and that is what we are aware of. This is the level of awareness that we know. We know that I have a tendency towards this illness. I know that I have a tendency towards this sort of food. These are the things that we know. These are the conscious programs. And then we have subconscious programs. Subconscious programs work at a much deeper level. And typically you don't have any understanding about how they're working because they're at the subconscious. And unless you're tapping into delta, high, uh, very deep ends of uh, theta and delta brain waves, you're not going to be able to really distinguish what is there in that subconscious. But we can look at the fruit of our subconscious to determine what's been programmed in it. For instance, habits are very conscious. I recognize I have a habit of smoking, you might say. We know that to break that habit, it requires a certain amount of time. But where did the habit originate? The habit originated with an action, a conscious action, that ultimately was repeated a certain amount of times, and our subconscious began to grab a hold of it. So it's not even just an addictive issue, for instance, smoking because of the nicotine or the chemicals, but it's actually an addictive issue because your subconscious grabbed a hold of it, and now it's just a habit. Um, and so this, these are lots of, there are lots of things that have been subconsciously programmed into you. Matter of fact, a lot of people, when they turn on the TV, they turn on and they're kind of in a place of just out of it. They're not really paying attention deeply, but they're kind of just out of it, zoning out or getting ready to fall asleep. Everything that's being said on that TV during this time, because your mind is moving into theta brain waves. And you are very susceptible at a subconscious level at that point in time. And this is the reason why in my subconscious uh, video here, the video I do on subconscious programming, I talk about affirmations, specifically right before you go to sleep and right in the morning when you first wake up. So we are obviously experiencing lots of conscious and subconscious programs, and we are seeing the fruit of it in our life. But there are also genetic or cellular programming. And so what a cell does is this little cell it takes on certain information. And there are billions and billions of cells in your body. It takes on a bit of information. And then before it, um, it it'll die off and a new cell comes in its place and it passes that cell along. And it passes all the information along to that cell, I should say. And so what's happening is you have one cell and it's being transmuted or it's dying off and turning into another cell and it's passing the information along. At a very cellular level, this is where your genetic code is passed. It's passed at that cellular level. And this is where things like susceptibility to cancer or to diabetes come from because it's been passed along. But it's not just genetic code isn't just I have been given this. We've It's been proven you can reverse genetic code in many different ways. You can reverse it. First of all, you can reverse it in your belief system. So in other words, you consciously begin to recognize something as true. You choose to recognize something as true. And then you have to program the subconscious before it will ever get into those cells and you can begin to recognize the cellular repentance. Uh, which is just a means the cells changing the way it's think. In other words, we're passing along correct information through one cell to another cell to another cell, so on and so forth. This is to be present minded at a very cellular at a cellular level. When the cell is no longer no longer functioning through because of a genetic clock then it's a present cell. So mindfulness can go as deep as you want it to go. Most people never really even become very mindful consciously. They, If they come to my, for instance, if you come to my metaphysical mindfulness classes uh, course in September, if you register for that, most people will walk away from that course and their mind is, they're going, oh, well, yeah, you know, this is uh, this is cool, and they'll experience maybe a little bit of space between thoughts, or they'll, or they'll learn a few breathing techniques that make them feel good for a minute, but that's about as far as it will go. If you really want to go deep, 
then you take this mindfulness from beyond just an idea of being present and possibly enjoying your life a little bit more, possibly not being so stressed out or anxious, which even if you came and that's all you got, that would be worth the price of admission. But that's where most people stop. They never even begin to get into the subconscious level. I mean, that's shallow into the conscious level, but they very seldom ever even get into the subconscious level of programming, let alone the cellular area of programming. So, if we want to reverse aging, if we want to reverse and step into immortality, if we want to uh, change or reverse the susceptibility of your body to cancer or to diabetes or to illness in general, and inflammatory illness and so on and so forth we can be we have to begin at the conscious level just like everything that you do physically and mentally begins at a conscious level seeps down into programming and reprogramming the subconscious at a subconscious level and then into a cellular level when I talk about being present I just want you to realize you can be present consciously subconsciously which means you're no longer moved you're at such a state of mindfulness at such a physical vibration that you're no longer moved up and down or very based upon what vibrational frequency is going on around you and so in other words you can see it you can perceive it but it's no longer moving you because your vibration is so high but then also at a cellular level you begin to reverse disease and make your turn your body not only into a into an awesome looking you know uh, ripped body where you're um, healthy and whole, but then also actually beginning to reverse the aging process or at least slow it down dramatically. The more present you become, especially going deeper and deeper on a, even on a cellular level, this means your body is present. It's just here. You see, I need you to recognize right now, here's the thing, there's nowhere that you can go. You can learn to go nowhere. You can't. You can never be somewhere other than where you are. This is impossible. Everybody is always trying to get somewhere, but until you realize there's not not a somewhere to get. But the only place that you can be is here in the here and now. Then you're going to continue to find yourself disappointed and aggravated, frustrated, and all these things. So here's the very very first step. The very first step is of conscious mindfulness is to choose presence to choose to be present minded and so when you catch yourself looking ahead or looking behind you bringing up the past or looking into the future and getting excited about something choose I choose to be present and you get in touch with this present moment take a few deep breaths look around you this and then you say this this is the only place that I can be and I'm going to enjoy it doesn't matter where you are. It's the only place you can be. Enjoy it. That is the first step to not just present thinking. This is not just some sort of empty philosophy, but to your immortality. And this September is we're launching all we're launching a metaphysical mindfulness course. It'll happen twice a year. The next one happens in September. But we're also launching some amazing classes that I'd love for you to participate in. Some of those classes will be completely free of charge, and others will come with a price tag as we're kind of going a bit, you know, a lot deeper into those classes. So check them out. I'll drop the link below for you guys, and uh, I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day.